Here's a quick walk around of the 2013 Volkswagen Passat, um, which is mostly a carryover for this year. It was uh, redone in 2012. Uh, there's a new Wolfsburg appearance package for 2013, but mostly it's the same. Um, the big thing about uh, this generation Passat is that it's bigger than the old Passat. Uh, it's made in America, and um, it's substantially bigger than the uh, the Passat that they sell in Europe, and um, they did that to make it more competitive with, with the other mid-sized, mid-large cars in this class, um, like uh, the Honda Accord, uh, Nissan Altima, and the Ford Fusion. Um, one of the uh, nice things about the uh, increased size is that you've got more legroom both up front and in the second row, I think you've got about an inch and a half more up front and roughly about the same in the back. Um, but the, the really big news about the car is that it's significantly wider than before. Um, it's about, so you have about two and a half inches more um, shoulder room here in the back, uh, a bit less than that in the front, but it's also um, a, lot, a lot more, um, more wide and roomy. And, and one of the clever things that they did is to scallop out these door panels uh, to give you a bit more elbow room when you put your elbow down there. Um, one of the little things that I don't like, though, is the way they positioned this, which is the control for the outside mirror. Uh, it's a little awkward. You kind of have to rotate your hand, and this little toggle looks flimsy to me, and I don't know whether it is, but it might break. Um, anyway, a lot of cars, they'll have it on a, a wider door pull here. It's more ergonomic. You can get your hand to it. It's a small thing. Uh, one of the really nice things about Passat uh, is that you can get three engines in this car. This one is the base model and has a 2.5 liter five cylinder gas engine, um, which is unusual. Most of the cars in this segment come with um, four cylinders uh, with an optional um, uh, turbo four or an optional V6. Uh, the next invention is the TDI diesel, um, which no other car in this class offers a diesel engine. Uh, and it's rated at 43 on the highway. Uh, and realistically, I've driven it, and you can get close to 50 miles per gallon out of the thing. Uh, the other engine is a 3.6 liter gas engine. Um, so you've got three engine choices. Most of the other cars in this class, except for the Fusion, um, only offer two. Uh, something else Volkswagen lets you have is your choice of a manual transmission with both the base engine and the TDI diesel engine. This one's an automatic, but you can get a six-speed manual. Uh, most of the comp uh, competition cars with the four-cylinder engine are automatic only, and for that matter, most of their optional engines are automatic only. Uh, unfortunately, the, uh, the, uh, the V6 engine comes only with um, the direct shift gearbox, which is an automated manual. And one of the other unfortunate things about the Passat, at least for us here in the U.S., is that we do not get the wagon version of the Passat, which for now is only being sold in Europe. Uh, they also sell it over there with a diesel and with an all-track, all-wheel drive system, but for whatever reason, Volkswagen is not planning to sell that car to us. So that's it. The full review is over at epautos.com, and we will see you next time. Thanks.